On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, have you seen what Knuckles has been driving about in LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog? We've got the Knuckles Guardian Mech to build, along with Roche's Bat Glider. And I think we also have Kiki's Coconut Attack, Kiki's Coconut Attack Polybag to build. So a few new Sonic the Hedgehog builds for early winter 2024 here. Lots of fun, so follow along as we construct up, and who knows what's gonna happen when we open up that green Master Emerald inside. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and a squirrel live. Am I turning green? Lego Sonic the Hedgehog, set number 76996, Knuckles Guardian Mech. 276 pieces with mini figures of Knuckles and Roge. It's Rouge. I hope that's not what Knuckles looks like. I don't think that's supposed to be Knuckles. That one's probably Knuckles, but it's too pink. Oh, these knockoffs you find online. But we're looking at solid, official Lego here with the Knuckles mech. It's always a mech. What's the deal with mechs? On the back of the box, Knuckles, Roge, seeking it's out the Master Emerald, it looks like. Or maybe just the green Chaos Emerald, whatever you want to say. Probably the Master Emerald. With Knuckles firing some stud launchers from that suit, and Roge with a bat it's flyer. Rouge. Glad they included Roge, totally. Rouge. What do we have inside? One instruction booklet with about... 80 steps of building. What other sets do we have? Ah, we had constructed Shadow's Escape earlier on a live video. There is Knuckles Mech, the new sets for the year, and we had checked out Tails' Plane. We had checked out The Great Loop. We had checked out Eggman's Mech, so lots of fun there. I think the only one I didn't check out was Amy's little zoo playground there. Just felt kind of like a lot of repeats to me. So we got those instructions. Bag one looks to be Roge, we'll start it's with. Rouge. Bag two. And three, only three bags with this build. Let's get back to bag one. Kind of bummed that they didn't give us a larger scale set this season, maybe in the future. And we start off with what Roge has got. I got the Master Emerald right from the start. Whoa! Would you look at that? That's a really cool piece build, almost acorn-like, almost like the Master Acorn. It's got a translucent green, but a little bit of blue sparkle to it or something. Maybe the Lego Mole Miner series could look for these underground. It opens up, which is kind of a fun little feature. We could probably spill in all the other Chaos Emeralds. That's a really nice piece to start off our day. And what else? We've got to have Rose in here somewhere. It's Pants. Where are the pants? Pants. So in past reviews, you may have heard me, overheard me calling her Rogue. And it's I think it's just because from older, older school video games, I think the GameCube version, playing that way back in the day, it did not have a voiceover over her name. And so I just read Rogue instead of Roge. It's Rouge. Whoops, my bat bad. So sometimes I fumble her name, but so fantastic to see Roge now Rouge. in minifigure form for the Sonic series. Roge and Knuckles Rouge. will be our new figures for this early 2024 release. She has her signature heart on her chest piece there. A little bit of a painted arm with the white gloves going up to her elbows. And wings on her back for flight. Certainly has a really good Roche headpiece. Mm. I'm tempted I may just pick up a second mech as this is a smaller scale set to have an extra Roche. Mm. I'll see how it goes. I even took French class back in the day. How did I mess up her name so bad? Remember, Remember you barely, barely passed, passed with, a with a C. Oh yeah. Then there's this dude. I don't even know who this is. Is this supposed to be silver? Where did I get these? Right now even the detective back there sees the red herring of these two figures. What are they? So we start building, I think we'll start with the cradle of the Master Emerald. We'll get a plate down and we will start constructing something to hold this emerald on onto top of. And, and we can set our Master Emerald on top. Oh, first though, let's fill it with more emeralds. So we have three, one, two, three, no, four. I was given four. It says three in the instructions. You probably will have four too. They're always pretty generous with those pieces. And we place down onto the holder. The holder, the holder of the Master Emerald. Good looking little display stand. I like how that holds nice and tight. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to steal that. Whoa, 
Hi ho! It's Kermit the Vader! And I see you've captured the Master Emerald I've been looking for. Oh, so green! Thanks for the emerald! I've been looking for this forever! <laughs> oh, oh, great. Kermit the Vader just stole our Master Emerald. Well, we're gonna have to build our Knuckles mech to get that back. But before we get to that, let's get Roja's glider mm. finished. Seems to be a simple, quick glider build for our batty friend to fly about on top of. Follow along as we construct up her flyer. And constructed Roche's back flyer. Kind of similar to her design with some hearts up front, little bat wings that kind of fold in, rotate on these pivot points of ball, and a little thrusters on the base there, plus a piece there that should lock into the Master Emerald if we can find it. Pretty fun little quick flyer build, glad. Glad she has something included. I'm not the biggest fan of the mini builds of sets. I like when the pieces go all into the main build. But in this situation, I think it works pretty well. Rogue's gotta have something too. Did I say Rogue? It's Rouge. So that finally brings us to the stage of Knuckles. Excuse me. Have you seen a frog with a mech that looks similar to my helmet? Uh, yeah we did. He stole the Master Emerald. We're trying to track him down. No worries. I, Darth Frog, will reacquire my suit and the Master Emerald. So Darth Frog, I thought Sith used red lightsabers. In my rare and only case, I willed the Green Saber. It is not easy being green. <laughs> I told you you'd like it if you tried it. Hmm, I like the cut of your voice. Let's say we talk backstage. Okay, you seem trustworthy. <laughs> I, I just, today's one of those days. Okay, uh, Landry, can you just bring out bag two for me? Yeah, I got that for you. Okay, bag two, finally. Maybe we'll see Knuckles here. Lots of reds, whites, yellows. What you would expect with Knuckles, right? Where's Knuckles? Now where is he? Is he in here somewhere? Oh, oh. Think I found Knuckles' pants. That or it's the Flash's pants. Uh, yeah, that's Knuckles, good deal. And a Knuckles torso. And a Knuckles headpiece. Looking okay. His hands though, where, where are his Knuckles? That doesn't seem right. Let's, maybe in here. There we go. Custom built knuckle gloves. All right, now we got him. Downside to the gloves, he can't really grab onto anything because he's grabbing onto the gloves, right? But it's still a nice little touch. They look puffy. They certainly enhance how knuckles would look. Even this knockoff figure actually had real knuckles hands. He wasn't holding onto them. I kind of kind of like these too, though. Uh, they're a little more spiky. These are kind of softer. So for once, I almost like the knockoff a little bit better. But it will work. It'll work for our needs. Basically a red figure there. He's got a little knuckles tail on the back. His echidna dreads are kind of hanging down in the back there. Ooh, those front gloves a little bit heavy, so you want to lean him back a little bit. So all these pieces here mean mech. Mech building time. Now mechs can build pretty quickly. Funny that this is in such a large scale box. Makes it feel like there's more than meets the eye, but this is not a transformer. This is a Sonic the Hedgehog mech for Knuckles. So follow along as we construct up the mech for Knuckles to somehow reclaim the Master Emerald from Darth Kermit.
So we got through bag number two pretty well, building Knuckles' back plate of his mech with his legs and feet. Shoes are looking good. We'll have to get a Knuckles figure out in a bit. We can compare how they've done so well, but we've got ball jointed hips, and I think it's gonna turn out pretty well as we go into the... Hi ho, it's me, Kermit the Vader. Check out what I created so far with the Master Emerald. Is that a Green Lantern figure ring? Oh, I suppose it is. You should totally get a Green Lantern Lantern figure ring and a Master Emerald. Bye! Well, don't worry, Knuckles. We'll get that Master Emerald back. We just have to finish up your mech. And so our final bag here is Kiki's Coconut Attack. No, that that's not it. But I do want to see that too. Uh, bag three is our final bag. Bag three tricked me. It feels like there's more pieces in here than I first thought. We will be finishing up Knuckles' mech with his arms and other central interesting structures. Too bad they didn't fit one more minifig in this set. That would have been kind of fun. Something bad would have been interesting. Alright, Knuckles, are you ready to mech up? Let's start with your left arm. That's my right arm. And your right arm. That's my left arm. These little top quill pieces are pretty cool to identify you more as a Knuckles Echidna. So we'll place three of those up on your top shoulders and one over onto your back. Although I kind of wish there was a couple more there. And finally, your recliner. So you're not actually going to be sitting onto the back wall there. We'll remove you real quick. And we'll place this piece down, ever so awkwardly, shooting a stud across the table. And we'll place you back up on top of your chair there, Knuckles. Not the most enclosed mech I've ever seen, but still pretty neat. So the Knuckles mech here stands approximately about uh, six inches in height, uh, about maybe six inches in width there. For sure something you would see Knuckles driving as it's kind of themed obviously after Knuckles in the red there, a little bit of the yellow and the green on his shoes, and a pretty good overall seating spot for Knuckles up top, a little bit exposed but not too bad. Bringing in a standard Knuckles action figure to do some quick comparisons. I like how they did the shoes there, they match really well. They've replicated his shoe bumps pretty well there, and the yellow and the green on there with the socks. They've replicated his fist spikes pretty well, a little puffy. I think they could have been a little bit bigger. They're a little bit flat, but he's got his spikes on there, so it's I guess it's good enough. And otherwise, just Knuckles bulkiness with those rounded shoulders up top that you can kind of play around and hinge with depending on when missiles start flying from Dr. Eggman. It's got a good feel. Oh, he's coming up off his chair there. So articulation there, we've got ball joints on those shoulders. No elbows, remember those were just those bracket builds. Uh, fists have a little bit of articulation on a ball joint. Big ball joints for the hips to kick out, reach, walk. No knees, again those uh, brackets, but we do have feet. Uh, bionicle style almost there. And then we can position these quills to bounce off rockets and all that fun. Oop, we got a piece that's getting loose. So overall, I'm enjoying the Knuckles mech. I think it was a fun, good build. It matches his personality pretty well. Uh, it will stand pretty cool on a shelf of figures. It might even throw down as the best mech to challenge Eggman's mech. Look at there, maybe even just a little bit taller than Eggman's mech that we built earlier in the year. Certainly more beef going on in Eggman's build. A lot more egg in that soup. But the two should fight down and throw pretty well. So we've got the Knuckles mech, we've got Roge here, Rouge. and we've got, well, what happened to the Master Emerald. Hi ho, I got the Master Emerald right here. Um, that's broccoli. I think that's a broccoli bot bot. Foolish one. You do not understand the power of the green Master Emerald. Well, at least I have it, and you don't. 
Not for long you don't. Get it, Roge. Mm. With pleasure, dear. Hey, how dare you steal that from Darth Kermit? All too easy. The Master Emerald Broccoli is now mine, Darth Frogs. Ah! Ah! Hold on a second there, waka waka. I challenge you to a duel. Huh? Hey, everybody. What happens when you put a green Master Emerald into a lightsaber? The Green Ninja, waka waka. Huh? Oh, that's it. The battle for the Master Emerald is on. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Take this, Kermit Debater. Ah! Your training in Spinjitsu is weak. You underestimate the power of the Force. Give me that emerald, boys! Ah! Jeez, Eggman, I don't even know where to start with this one. Let's just take this one off, shall we? The Master Emerald belongs to the Green Ninja. No, it is a Kyber Crystal for Dark Frog. Waka Waka, it's getting away! Give it up, Kermit T. Vader. My mech is stronger. Hey, Poe, I don't think so. Ooh. Aha! I got you now, Master Emerald. Oh, oh, wait a second. You you are a bot bot. Well, where's the Master Emerald? Here I am. I hope that's a creeper. And it's sizzling. Okay, well, at this point, I really don't know what's going on. I found the Master Emerald, though. It was disguised as a creeper. We'll just set that there. We have one more quick build for you today. It's this really interesting set, Kiki's Coconut Attack, an extra botnik, badnik to build. Badnik, we have not seen Kiki's Coconut Attack yet, I do not believe. Set number 30676 with 42 pieces. Should be a fun and quick build, right? What animal friend do we have inside this one? A little bluebird. Kind of a fun deal of the Bad Nick sets is you get a little animal friend included. Should be a quick build. We have steps one through 13. Follow along as we build up Kiki. Alright, there's the Kiki's Coconut Attack build found in the polybag sets. Usually check over at Walmart in those little bin shelves. Little bluebird on his backpack and a coconut to throw. Very cute. I have a tree build left over from one of the builds and I suppose I could possibly put Kiki up there somehow. Just kind of get his foot tied up into those tree branches. Sure, there we go. So you can use past other sets to interact with for Kiki to hang out and fall down. And so there we go with the Knuckles Guardian mech build. A pretty fun, entertaining, quick build mech set. Pretty good price point too. There's Kiki on top of the Master Emerald. And of course, Roge was here too with her glider. A nice little fun accessory build. And then the rest of the things that happened today, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. But there you go. Look out for those around town in 2024. There you go, what do you think about Knuckles Guardian Mech? I like that the set build isn't too crazy huge so that by easy to get a Knuckles and a Roche figure, it's minifigure from the Sonic Verse, I think that's probably what they were planning. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye. Don't forget to say you're a superior squirrel watcher to enter into the contest to maybe win a t-shirt, water bottle, plush Landry, something like that. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. It's, it's rude. rude.